What's up everybody, welcome back to another day, another stream, and we continue the playthrough of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Yeah, it's a mouthful, that's for sure. We have new support conversations, but Jordi doesn't want to start a playthrough or a stream with Thanks a bunch. that. Uh, convoy. Do I have any... I got Nosferatus. I like my Blizzard though. I'll use Nosferatus over my other... System. Save. Which battlefield are you headed to? Oh, I thought we were uh, way further than that we actually are. Wing Treasure for S rank. Okay. Must have been yesterday's before stream. I don't know, this is a different one. I thought I did this one already. Um, <coughs> it is the same map. That's not wrong, but... I think... We need Petra to swap for Casper. I can't really tell where my friends are, but honestly, good shit. Let's earn our keep. I'll have a you have a look: 500 kills, 30 damage, seven minutes. Okay. Uh, I don't see any Pegasus Riders just yet, so that means we're sending this way. So, what should I be doing again? You go crash through the middle. Here I go. No I don't have a. He yet. He probably hasn't appeared yet either, so we can just go with. Search the stronghold. Oh, okay. Oh, Bernie, stop yo bitching. You got this. Easy. Good job, Caspar. Um. So, what should I be doing again? Head to this one. Edelgard already done with her end? Yeah, easy. Here I go. No Success was to be expected. We're in bad shape over here. 
Okay, uh, that's a brawler. Not a problem. I think I'll just head that way. We need backup. Please hurry. Job Bernie. Uh, Bernie, you're gonna go and sure hope that tell me somebody saw that. Oh, I didn't realize that there was still a guy there. Okay, um So what should I be doing? Sure. Go help help burn you over there. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Yeah. What's next? Right on. Okay, that was already done. Bernie, Bernie you're not doing much side. here right now anyway, so you can handle sure, this guy. This Edelgard's still handling. The Calvary over there. You know what they say about playing with fire. Out of the So this is defeat. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Still have a base to capture. It looks like you're done. How much time? Two and a half minutes. Mage appeared. We can ill afford defeat here. How many kills? Three hundred and seventeen. Leonie. Ready for a taste of Blade Breaker style? I'll defeat every last one of you. Couple conditions have changed. Um. Here I go. No mistakes. I think we should be fine. And the Pegasus Knights. Uh, give me a sec. Mm. Where's the Pegasus Knight? Over there. We do need to swap characters in a bit. To make quicker kills. Guards fighting Leonie. Bernie's not in trouble. Shut up, you dummies. Uh, this should put. Uh, not yet. Left. Not 
Attack the monks, switch to burn me real quick. Burn you when level up, most likely. Oh no. This is cleaned up. Sure hope this goes okay. So Gaspar, you go clear this guy play? while I murder this. the fatal guard. I'm glad we made it I think we have S rank. We should have S rank. Otherwise, you already be sad. <laughs> yeah, Wing Thresher. MVP, Jordi, obviously. This is the only character we're playing with. Ooh, that one looks nice. Effective against Flyers as well. 40 attack. Is that better than the sword that I have right now? Let's see in a few moments. Little Garden Bernie went up. Friendship. Activity points! New support conversations. Let's go have a look. He already has a plus 9 iron sword currently. Yeah, that is actually better. Durability less. Well, we'll deal with that. What are your thoughts? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. I don't really give shit. Okay. Give me everything you have. Earned the smithing set. That's good. We can upgrade our smithing shies again. Blast lens. What do I need for this? Must complete all side missions in this area. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Take the banks of Ermids. Uh, this looks like a fairly easy... the time limit expires. How long do I have? Oh, it looks like my boy is gonna be fucking useless and so is Edelgard. Gaspar is still okay, which is good. So, what, well, we're switching you? Ferdy is nice, but Juritsa is stronger. Uh, you are actually not that useful in this situation. So let's bring Hubert. And as much as I want to use Edelbart here, I think we'll just use Ferdy as well. do need to kick them off their horses, though. Or we can just use a Lindhardt. Now, I'll use Ferdy to kick them off their horses. Because you have the same issue. Which is super cringe. Seven minutes, 500 kills, damage taken. To begin war. battle. So long as I stand okay, upon the uh, field, I am I stand back. Oh, fuck. Oh no, Caspar was useful. Never mind. 
Um, There's not a question of that. Leave this you this me. way. Right then. Let us Archer. So, what should I be doing again? Sending you sure, all the way this fight. way to start fighting these idiots. Sure that what Stand needs back. to be done is be a witness. No, wrong way. Should probably be doing more with Kaspar than with Gritsa, in all honesty. Just Kaspar is my stronger opponent. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. I face my comrades after this. Uh, my stronger character. Okay, that's good. That sounds like a finish. Any reinforcements here? It's not too bad, honestly. We just need to make sure that we don't actually die. So what has appeared here? Just trash? Just trash. As far you continue making moves forward. My life is a hollow procession. Splendid. Your actions should prove a You're then. Uh, Kaspar is just gonna be our Lulu for the time being. In the meantime, I switch over to. We're in bad shape over here. Starting the mission is the. Any final words? <laughs> I took a lot of damage there. Not necessarily sure why. Good job, Caspar. Fernand, join in with Caspar. Caspar, go. Side mission successful. Um, Starting the mission I think I'll is the Jerry's uh, help. In the meantime, we're gonna fucking punch through this. With Caspar. Yeah, we should already be over to 500. How many minutes? Four minutes left. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Borders have been carried out. 
Mission successful. Okay, we're not done yet. Judith. Rapier. Starting the mission. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see. Starting the mission. Is that an order? So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Lords. Bear witness. Judith von Daphnel. Feast your eyes on the hero of Daphnel. By the name of House Daphnel, I will not lose. Victory conditions changed. Caspar sieged no the kitchen. The stronghold if we don't put it to good use. Spar is fighting Judith. Ferdinand is fighting Judith. Just starting, starts going with a freaking Musu. Satisfying. <laughs> Lords of the land. Last lands. Yuritsa went two levels up this match. Nice. Child's play. Blessed Lens, nice. Holy Glow. Smites Moonstars. Not bad. Extra quest. Route the enemy. None. Okay, so we don't need you. Time to go to work. Uh, we got a spellcaster for that one. We got that. I think we're gonna grab Bernie okay, he here. Even though we can't really see the enemies that she's strong against yet. Okay, so you're with that one. You're going all the way to the other side. Bernie sticks on Yordi for now, for the time being. Let me actually see. Die. Ferdinand got a very. Oh, yeah, no. They already got a good lens. Okay. Fine. Right, let's do this. Oh, nope. here. Not a problem. Um, you call on this. Hubert, you are just gonna move all the way this way and start attacking things you're strong against. I don't know why, but Armored Knights are incredibly weak against magic. 207 minutes, okay. 
Good job, Caspar. So... Take out the other priest. Enemy commander of the archers has appeared. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. We're not losing to anyone. Ooh, boom has appeared. When you push, we push back hard. Um. Right, thanks. I will see mine too. So, what should I do? Sure, let's. Bernie, no, bad. We're done for. Okay, we got the 200 KOs. You're slacking off. Can't believe you. Allow me. Um, no one with electricity. It's kind of. Nice dodge. Bar we need to take out. With just regular old power. That's why we got our level 29 main character here. Sraptus versus the sword fatter tome steel tome steel sword steel bow improvements fifty four K Going on to a main mission in a bit. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. 
everything has its use. Ward available. Well, how'd it go? Speed carrot. Any results a good result. Okay. Let's go have a look. Facilities. The only thing that we can upgrade is the blacksmith currently. And nothing too high tier at that. Love to unlock this one, honestly. But that is still a stage away. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any. Have a look. Trade smithing stones, two hundred. this smithing set I think right no combat set set combat manual that's the one we need or recruit training gear everything Shit. has its use you already can't remember hey there need something first things first let's repair Is these this it? Steel Swords, 84, nice. Reckless Power. Is, this it? Oh. Is that better than what? Is this it? This one is definitely better than some of my people. Holy shit, that costs a lot of money. See you around. Um Convoy. Honestly, we're just gonna improve already a lot, anyways. Step number one. Um, Hubert already has a steel tone. Is it better? Is this one better? I mean, by uh, quite a bit. Give Lindhart the next tone. The Steel Tome. Uh, Bernadette has a yeah, killer bow is way better. I haven't leveled Ash up yet. Also has a steel bow. Uh, this one I currently have is better. That's it. I think that also cost me like 30. Time to work you into shape. Okay, let's see. Recruit training gear, yeah. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Yeah. Okay, um, I can actually give the Wing Trasher to, um, you know who this one can go, these can go. I do want to keep this one looked, but I can't sell it. Everything else is fair game. Fifteen. Can barely not finish it. Everything That's kind of a shame. Um, this one. I'm sure chore master. I guess we'll do some Can random chores with people. Care for the horses. 30 and happy, I guess. Great. 
great. Plus two over known. We all must do our fair share. Training can be the difference between victory oh, and defeat. Train. Everyone is still a little low level. So how much? Twenty-five plus me nine from level sixteen. You have Yuritsa. Personally, think we kind of have too many mages. No. Seeing as I'm keeping them on their class, except for Caspar, I keep everyone on the class they most prefer. Okay, nice. We have enough money to get everyone so. to level 25. That was a flip. Everyone else is higher level. Jordi, Kaspar, and Bernadetta are probably the ones that are most used because of their unique With proper training, you'll be on classes. Now we got a lot of talking to do again. So uh, let's uh, head through those. What an inspiring sight. Oh, hey, Ferdinand. You think so? The way I see it, a mercenary who doesn't train every day probably won't stay a merc for long. Hmm. I cannot dispute your logic. Though, I must say, you never did strike me as a typical mercenary. And your upward trajectory has proven me right. To go from nothing to a commander rivaling even the finest of nobles as quickly as you have is astounding. You are the most intriguing man. Well, that's because I've made a habit of giving my all. I'm honestly just happy to have earned Edelgard's respect. You're all, you say? Something wrong? To the contrary, I find your attitude inspirational. We are birds of a feather, you and I. Every task I undertake must also be done to utmost perfection. Polishing my armor? It shall have a mirror sheen. Cooking a meal? Let not even a single ingredient go to waste. True nobility means surmounting any challenge before you with no less than every fiber of your being. Uh, that's taking it a little far, don't you think? Uh, maybe you're not wasting food, but what about your time and energy? And I'm not any sort of noble, you know. I am aghast! Are you suggesting that devoting myself fully to every endeavor is wasteful? I mean, yeah. If you put your all into every little thing, you'll run out of stamina right when you need it most. You're like the knight in that proverb, the one who spends all day building a fence around his pegasus, only for it to fly away. Valuable advice for a pegasus, perhaps, but I am no beast. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I 
I know that you're different. I do. But everyone needs to take it easy sometimes. If you always keep your bowstring taut, it's just gonna snap when you actually need to fire. I assure you, I am no bowstring either. But I take your point. However, there is no cause for concern. As I have told you on multiple occasions, I am Ferdinand and on fun. Ah. <laughs> I am resting, enjoying leisurely pursuits, or simply in contemplation. I always apply all my energy to the task at hand. At work or at rest, I will forever give it my all. <laughs> Seriously? What's full on resting even look like? Yaddy yaddy does he. Let's go talk to Lindy. Oh hey, looks like I'm not the first one to show up. Hello there. No need to pay me any mind. I'll just be absorbed in my book here. I assume you've come to meet someone? As they've clearly not arrived yet. Why don't you join me? Here. I, uh, thanks. Uh, hey, Linhart, you're into all that spooky magic stuff, right? Like sorcery and crests and whatnot? Yes. Why? Is there something you'd like to ask me? Oh, no. I, I was just thinking it's kind of weird that you've never really been interested in my power. Do you want me to be? Yeah, I mean... I don't even understand it myself. But with you helping me, I might actually learn something. That and Hubert scared me half to death talking about how you might experiment on me. And just so we're clear, I'm not into that. Uh-huh. Well, not everything piques my interest. Your circumstances simply do not. If you're not interested, then so be it. But is there any particular reason why? Hard to say. Perhaps because a sword is the only thing you're able to manifest? Strictly speaking, I suppose your power does raise some questions. But that sinister weapon of yours, it just doesn't leave me all that interested in learning more. Sinister, huh? That's one way to describe it. Tell me. Have you ever beheld one of the hero's relics? They also possess the most peculiar aura. And yet, there's something almost divine about the terror they instill. But your sword? It's cold. Maybe even inhuman. In more complex terms, it's little more than an inorganic, dispassionate construct. Not a hint of the goddess's divine guidance in its design. It's not as if you were able to choose what you manifested, right? It just came to you. True, but what if I could turn it into something else and start manifesting different things? Would you be interested then? Is such a thing possible? I would like to see that for myself, I must admit. In fact, I'd be quite excited by that. What a fascinating topic to lay at my feet. Hey, it was just a suggestion. I have no idea if I can actually do it. But aren't you the one who brought it up? Talking about an enemy spy or something. Oh, right. Any 
anyway, it's something kind of like that, but different and still really, really bad. Kind of like a spy, but different? <sighs> Slow down and tell me what you saw. Well, you see, there was this lady in the camp earlier who didn't look scary at all and even seemed kind of nice. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shyness and fear of strangers got you down, huh? Well, let's see if I have something that can help. <laughs> Anna. Thanks. Hmm. I think I've got just the herb. It's gonna put you out a good few gold coins, but this baby will do wonders for relieving stress. Zillar! How are you doing? Ah, I've got something a little more, shall we say, tasteful. Real under the table kind of stuff. It's a pot that makes people like you. I would probably recommend against it, but the thing's on sale if you really want it. I'm the sneaky little lady witch. Uh, you okay there? I just remembered something. Oh, how could you forget, Barney? There Run. are lots of scary people out there who pretend to look nice just so they can prey on you. And you must be one of them! Well, that was weird. I'm not that scary, am I? <laughs> No, she is just a very, very shady merchant. But wasn't that just Anna? She's here all the time selling her wares. I mean, not all of it's the most reputable stuff, but I don't think she's trying to cheat anyone. And she's definitely not a murderer. This is all my fault. I should go apologize to her later. Huh? She's not... Evil? Not that I know of. Uh, I'm also pretty sure it's not the first time you've met her. I don't know. I'm bad with faces. <laughs> You're pretty judgmental, you know that? Huh? What do we do? What do we do? How about this? There's this merc I've got in my crew. A real terrifying looking hunk of muscle. Sweetest little teddy bear on the inside, though. If anyone's gonna help you overcome this, it's him. Okay, I accept this challenge. You've got this, Bernie. <laughs> Excuse me, may I ask for your ear? Sure thing. What's on your mind? I have the desire to be learning more about mercenaries. It is a subject of much fascination to me. How are you doing today, Zalar? Uh, sure, I guess. But I think you've heard most of the exciting bits by now. Nonsense. Each word you speak is full of excitement. I Please am give oak. me more illumination. For example, are you receiving payment for your work here? Sure, me and Edelgard have a contract. Lucrative one, too, as these things go. Guess the boss thinks pretty highly of me. You said money was of importance for people who sell their swords. But what if an enemy offered a bigger payment? Would you be taking it? You'd need more than that to get a true merc to switch sides. Health Still, issues, nothing an major, enemy, nothing to worry about. Avoid, but you know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. And nobody who enjoys breathing wants to wind up on the losing side. So in Fodlin, one must try to be allies with the side that has more richness? See, that's the thing. Trust is its own currency, too. I mean, let's say someone shows up with a pile of gold and asks you to switch sides. Tempting, right? But you gotta be careful. You could take them up on their offer, only to learn that the money was just bait, and the guy actually wants you dead. 
And to make things worse, the honest employer you just stabbed in the back now knows you're as reliable as a three-legged horse. Point is, integrity means more to a mercenary than money. Probably should have led with that, actually. I have understanding. Hmm. Trust Sucks though, Zillar. To everyone, but that has even more truth for a seller of swords. You got it. Oh, and trust me, folks who hire for the best jobs make sure to know everything about you before extending the offer. But there's a flip side to that coin. If you're the type of employer who likes to leave mercs in the lurch, you better believe that word will get around. Hard enough to stay alive without that nonsense. That is a thing we all share in common. We wish to keep breathing, as you said. And what if I was offering a job? We are on the same side. Would that be betrayal? Bridget is a land of richness. We can offer much in exchange for the selling of your sword. It sounds tempting, but nah, I can't. I've got to see my current contract through first. Also, didn't we just get done discussing how terrible it is to abandon a job before it's done? <laughs> I knew you would be declining. You are the model of a mercenary. Okay, are there more? Jesus, Hugh Burton burned that probably cast burn burned it. Let's do cast B and Bernie first. Hey, Bernadetta. I'm sorry about before. No. I need to cut my I'm nails the one again. Who should be sorry. Oh, they grow me. way too fast. Huh? No, I'm the one who wants you to forgive me. Did you hear me apologize just now? If I forgive you, will you forgive me? Then I forgive you. Please just let me live in peace. After what happened, I went to Edelgard and asked her what I should do. She told me not to do anything and just to apologize. So I'm gonna figure out something I can get for you to make this right. No, I don't need anything! Oh, rats, he's gone. I have a bad feeling about this. Look, Bernadetta, I got you all your favorite foods. Uh, thank you? But, um, I think there's enough food here for ten people, so... Food is a foundation <laughs> for building your body. If you train three times harder, you gotta eat three times as much. I mean, that's just science. And don't worry, if you can't eat it all, I'm happy to scarf down the rest. <laughs> okay, so I can't actually train three times harder. And even if I did, I sure couldn't eat three times as much. Look, Bernadetta, I took the bow you used for training and replaced it with an extra strong one. Oh, and don't worry, I won't interfere with your training. I learned my lesson last time. Wow, this does look strong. Let's just... Oh, come on! I can't even pull the bowstring back! How am I supposed to train with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, Caspar? Hey there, Bernadetta. What's up? Listen, I wanted to talk to you about all the stuff you're doing to apologize. Oh, yeah? Say, how's that training coming? Lousy! So please stop apologizing already! What? But I softened up the training so it was way less than what I'd do myself. Softer? What kind of training do you even do? Well, for starters, I go 15 times harder than everyone else here. But of course, I don't have 15 times as many hours in my day. So instead, I do three times the amount, five times as fast. <laughs> as for food, I generally need to wolf down about six times as much as everyone else because of how hungry all my training makes me. Okay. You're not human. Oh, and when I train with a bow, I use one with a string pulled five times as taut as normal. Oh, right, I get it. Your training is ridiculous. You think it's 
ridiculous? But my father came up with it, and he's the Minister of Military Affairs. Your father <laughs> is typically Lou Bu from Three Houses. Uh... You know, I never considered that my father got so strong because of how unusual his training regimen is. I mean, I don't know about all that, but your routine is definitely not normal. But I've been doing it since I was a kid. Yeah, that explains a lot. Yeah, hey, good luck with that! Great. Super funny. Hey, uh, you know, good luck with that! <laughs> Data. I see the documents I was waiting for have finally arrived. <laughs> Hubert! I'm not doing anything bad! Then would you be so kind as to hand those over? They are addressed to me, after all. Oh, um, right. Edelgard asked me to bring them. Phew, that was heavy. What are all these documents, anyway? Old records of bandit activity in this area that I need for my investigation. Hey, that reminds me! I heard we had a group of bandits cornered, but they sort of... got away. Yes, a most vexing development. It beggars belief that our troops prove unable to exterminate even these few stray vermin. Are you angry? Oh, I doubt it is worth raising my ire over. <sighs> That's good. Um, but you look like you're angry. Bernadetta, are you aware of how your persistence often leads to the very outcome you wish to avoid? <sighs> I mean, um, yes? In any event, my mood is what it is because I must now locate a den of rats. I will need to research previous stomping grounds, then cross-reference the location of their old layers in order to work out where this new one might be. Wow, that sounds like a ton of work. Yes, but there is nothing for it. These craven rats will not re-emerge once they've burrowed into their nests. Hey, neat! I definitely understand the desire to burrow in somewhere and never come out. <sighs> uh, I mean, but when there are festivals and stuff, they might slip up and leave? Maybe? Possibly? <laughs> I mean, everyone loves festivals. It Except when there are people around, which is usually the case. Somehow I suspect you would not emerge for even the most magnificent of carnivals. However, you and the rats may differ on that point. We do what now? Yes, of course. Unlike you, these thieves have no particular desire to live away from others. We have had them on the run for some time, which means they've not been able to earn coin through their usual underhanded work. Thus, if I were to prepare a place where they could cut a few easy purses, they might consider the spoils to be worth the risk. Smart few words. Okay. And the bait shall be a festival. Due to the war, we have not held a genuine festival for quite some time, after all. So even if we do not capture the rodents, and it merely brings much-needed succor to the people, I would still consider it a success. Well done, Bernadetta. You have come up with a splendid idea that eluded even myself. Why are you complimenting me out of nowhere? Are you plotting against me? <laughs> Not particularly, no. 
Although I am thinking I will require your assistance in this matter from now on. No! Someone free poor Bernie from this torment! Every time Bernadette exaggerates like this does make me think of SQ. She always exaggerates shit as well. Battlefield are you headed to? No, I didn't actually check all of these yet. Mm -hmm. Fields Bridge. Smithing Stones 3. Hmm, can upgrade another facility. I'll yeah, we'll do that after. Okay, let's go and try and get an S-Ring. Maybe should have saved in case some of our guys die. Let's just hope that that doesn't happen. We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. But Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. better. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? <laughs> you just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's all right with you, I prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any soldiers you cannot. It should be a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight first and ask questions later. When in doubt, take them out, am I right? We can sweat the small stuff when the battle's over. Until then, I'll do what I do best. I believe we should all do what we do best. If we do, I feel confident we will emerge on top when the dust settles. Victory is the most important thing, so leave the vanguard to me. Then, if everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire. Vladislava is routed. Um... Sign healers. Mm. I don't think we need to. I think this should be fine. Okay. Uh. That's kind of surprising. We need. You, Gaspar is fine, Hubert. I think we're swapping Gaspar out for Edelgard. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think this should be fine. Like in the battle. Before we do anything else, though, not a send Ferdy to Yordi, send Kaspar so, to Hubert, send Petra to Berna, and this Dorothea Dar. Okay. Where's... We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. Game. Um. They have her surrounded. I owe you one. Time for a rescue. If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped Wait. along with her. We must secure the route this. as we go. Hubert. Where is... Wait. <sighs> Dorothea. Hubert. With Ferdy. Okay. Hey, hey, that's what we like to see. Uh, Hubert, you go this way. It's Bernie's time to shoot. Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got to tell me Are this. You... My turn. How much time do I have? 20 minutes? Balthus? Not so fast. If you want through, you've got to open those purses and pay the toll. Okay, that is the person we need to send Bernie at. It's Bernie's time to shine. Of all the irritating places to lay an ambush, this man is a mercenary. Perhaps offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. Ignats. Rain arrows down on their central forces. Uh, from there. Okay, we're sending. Oh, you're still in battle. Here, everyone. Here, I. Everyone, to me. Advance. Here I they must learn who We should have sent soldiers west to deal with it. Not many soldiers to send though. I'm just gonna send you away in here right from the get-go. Switch over to Bernie to try and persuade Baltos. Wait, are you talking about me? Stand back. Watch nope. this. Take a breather. 
Looks like you'll be my first real challenge in ages. Now let's dance. I chose to be here, and I'm going to fight the Empire to the end. Just so you know, I got no interest in dying. Arrows are raining down on Ladislava. We have to stop them at the source. I will do this. Then just surrender. Seems like fighting's up. Besides, you're a clever man. You know the Empire won't let someone as strong as you rot in cell. Recruited Baltus. We now officially have a brawler on our side that is super chill I'll never be able to face the others again how do you know unless you keep living I mean things like this tend to have a way of working themselves out you know I guess so but all right, I surrender. The arrows have stopped. Let us proceed. Allow me! Let us slava. Thanks. Mind taking it from here? Is the door open? Yeah. It's burning. I sure hope this goes okay. And not a problem. I've got this. We're going in here. I go. here. No mistakes. I can't stack that yet. They must. Twelve hundred. Time is still going fairly decent. Rest, Ladislava. This is a great achievement. You honor me, Your Majesty. May victory be yours this day. Now I can fight on even footing. Okay, um... It's burning! Sure hope this goes okay! Not a problem. Don't have anyone specifically dealing for I've mages. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn. Who's this? Archeon Lethep Flegaton. my lands at the other end of this bridge, and you lot are not welcome. Oh? Now there is a fool even by a lion's tongues. Let us do them here and introduce them to you. Listen up, rogues. You will defend the supplies you stole from the Empire to the death. I can already smell the coin they'll fetch me. Defeat Archeon's subordinates to recover the supplies. That's fine. Uh, I think this is a moment that I'm gonna set Hubert to just automatic and take this one out real quick with Gurney. Then. In the meantime, we take out these punks real quickly. Yeah. 
recover the stolen supplies. Kill this one with a Musu. Should be more than enough. Level up. Like to see that. They've been done in. Hm. Well, yeah. my life is more valuable than some treasure anyway. This guy is the worst. Stop making your underlings do all the work, you coward! It's Bernie's time to sh sure. Okay, let's send our archer out. As soon as Hubert is done clearing up here, he can go come to ours as well, because he can fly over that. I am Acheron, savior of the Alliance. Oh, and that's a good one. Should we just write that down here? We'll do it to savior of my butt, maybe. You should have stopped being dumbass and having such a big ass mouth. But it's not like we were actually gonna let you switch sides to our side. The Alliance's lands lie ahead, as well as Gloucester's army. So, they've taken the Great Bridge, have they? That makes us the Alliance's last defense. There must be a way to resolve this matter without further bloodshed, Father. Our first priority is to find Count Blossom. He was on our side once. Love of guilt to There is no telling where the enemy might be left. We have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. If we had some sort of makeshift bridge, we could reach Count Blossom without relying on our flying units. My turn. We don't even have any flying units, so. Defeat and recruit Lorenz. Are you sure? Take a breather. Okay. Um right then. You weren't Let's go to work. <laughs> I will see my it's gonna send to all of you guys. This way, sure. just take your time, okay. you don't need to rush. No, they must learn. In the meantime, I'm gonna go Not grab that chest. We, we can use those to construct a bridge. Time seven minutes. Still need to make a few more kills. A few hundred more. Time you go walk this way, we're gonna swap over to Edelgard, because Edelgard can deal the most shit here. Stand aside! Here to... 
Shield is secure. Now we need only capture the enemy commander. Those are Gloucester lands you see beyond me, and I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. Than I realized. Enough. Stand down. Count Gloucester will soon be in our custody. Further resistance can serve no purpose. So be it. I am no use to my people if I die here. Oh, really? Interesting. I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. Easily now that we have damaged his precious heir. <laughs> Wow, you actually managed to hit me still. The defeated Count Glossker. I fight no more, your majesty. All of House Gloucester bows to your will. Victory is ours. But this is merely the first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance land. Beaten! Destroyed! We won, but this is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burglis and the others. And Burglis. They will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester, meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, 
We'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. Shady. Nice, Edelquark went to level up. I must out. I of course, I am the MVP. Steel lens, steel bow, iron gauntlets, Rosia, Julian, super nice. So it's 11k. Lorenz is now playable. Ignatz is now playable. Balthus is now playable. Taint and Renown, renowned, renowned. Interesting. It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, if I do say so myself. They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Few lords anywhere in Bodlin are as loved and respected by their people as you, father. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. Oh. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. Hello? You say that now because we lost. But would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not yes. after. Okay, give me a sec. Uh... Perhaps, but if so, uh, that only makes my misjudgment all more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost, but would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people who've, who've idolized you for ushering House Glass star towards even greater prosperity? question of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time, the time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. It is for this reason that I have decided to yield command of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. I... I understand, Father. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Theris. You obtained the following Theris. Is that a staff? Theris owner. Your Majesty, Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. No doubt he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. Oh. <laughs> well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, no, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? Um, no, 
If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. Okay. Ah. Game. Well, uh, well, I see no reason to reject this offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, <laughs> and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together. And I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. I suppose no one would put up with the aristocracy if it didn't afford some sort of stability. Yes, that is simply the way of things in Fodlan now. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me. Help me make it so. As you wish, Your Majesty. I will always stand behind Edelgard. Scarlet Blaze. The triumph of valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. Claude. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep, more than half of the old Golden Deer House is here. <laughs> Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but, well, you know best. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. It's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah, Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. About that, it pains me to say this, but how Sardelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protest that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrived. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once, should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance Solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! Uh, unless it puts Maya in danger, then I'm out. Look, what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in! It's a demon! I'm the acting captain of Gerald's mercenaries. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. 
From what I gather, remaining in the kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. By list. Oh, hello. I know reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. Yeah, time to prepare the fucking butcher fest. As long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. All right, let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Dairdru will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortresses and palisades, and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burgley's we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea. Is that the one and only Sepalepidingdong? We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burgley's through holes in the enemy lines, but this has met with little success. They must be so Boy. angry. I know just how that feels. Boy. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. How are you, Sep? How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Glad the crowd to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. Sepalepidong. You missed the ding, Zillar. There's supposed to be a ding between this left and... Is that the one and only Sepalepidingdong? <laughs> I have the ding. <laughs> God damn it. Oh yeah! Okay, Kaspar, you're going to switch back to your primary class. Does put you with a shitty axe though. Sorry. In the meantime, we're gonna give both us some good steel gauntlets here. I have a lot of people to talk to again, super annoying. This is true. She wants to change the world, does she? How amusing. What do you think of this idea of hers? Absolutely. Definitely want to try and make it happen if we can. But even if you manage to change things, there's no guarantee such actions will bring about the bright future. I need to turn out the vents off real quick. You, the commander I've heard about, the one lifted up from the common folk and given authority. Some folks say you aren't even from the Empire. Regardless, your being here is good news for me. Means a rough and thumble lady like myself might actually end up with a promotion someday. Good day to you. On to a different topic. This has nothing whatsoever to do with me, but I was incredibly relieved that House Gla Gloucester did not meet with Ruin. Huh? Huh? 
So why are you happy about it? I would hope someone like you might be able to at least guess the, re the reason. It's just that long ago, there was once a noble family who suffered the hardships of extinction due to their loss in the war. Ah. Her family. Her house. Sippy lippy ding. You're a knight of house Glossensters now, right? So, what's with the long face? Oh, just thinking about what the future will bring. Likely have to fight people I know, and it's just sad. La 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 la! Oh dear! So terribly sorry. Just checking the condition of my throat, Saul. You have beautiful voice, Manuela. Well, I'm delighted to hear you say that. Got a sec. Yeah, I'm from the abyss, the place under Gergmach. Basically, I crawled out of the same hole as Happy and Constance. I'm here because the Imperial Army are recruiting bodies, but the pay is good and the rations are plentiful, so you won't hear me complain. Sometimes I wonder if the war is merely some grand opera that takes place on the stage of Flotland. It's a dramatic portrayal of life and death where everyone hopes the dream and dreams come crashing into one another. It's almost like we're part of someone else's script. Let's see. That kind of thing is a little above my pay grade, but I know plenty of people who claim every possible outcome is predetermined for us by the goddess. Well, if she's script writer, I sure hope we're serving as her protagonists. Good day to you. I'm a knight of House Gloucester. Lord Lawrence ordered me to come here and join your ranks. The previous Count Erwin has long desired to stand above the ruling house Regan. Though we now serve the Empire, it seems we are fated to share a relationship with their house. Listen up. I think this might be my first time going into the Lion's territory. It's fun to discover new things. Like, did you know there might be some trees that only grow here? You like trees? Sure do. Or to be more specific, I like the berries that fall off them. Or anything else that tastes good. She likes food. Greetings, nothing to report. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Count Burgley's forces are right in front of us, but our march is going to still take a while longer. It's driving me up the wall. Sure wish there was something I could do. Well, guess I'll just hunker down and keep on going on. No enemies are... Getting in here, I swear it. Whose life exactly are you swearing that? <laughs> I mean, what? Am I sensing a little unity in... I am sensing a little unity in the Alliance. What could be the reason? They are having many lords, but each of them are doing whatever they please. I'm wondering if a region requires a leader such as an emperor, or not a monarch, in order to function. You know what? I kind of like sieges. I mean, think about it. You get to stay nice and cozy in some castle or wherever. Sounds great. But then there's the part where the enemy cuts off your supply lines and tries to starve you out. Huh? Nope. Never mind. Go away, sieges. Uh, okay, then. I didn't expect her to actually be inside this time around. How can I, be of service? I found myself wondering if Her Majesty couldn't have us advance at greater speed. Yet we continue our careful plodding pace, holding both banks of Armit as we do. Perhaps she is more cautious than expected, or perhaps I don't know, forget that I said anything. I smell... I could smell that from a mile away, mate. Hmm. You gotta get stronger, but I also need to start using my head more. Or isn't just about two sides smashing into each other much as I'd like it to be. You've also got sieges, rescues, logistics, defense, and much more. You've really been using your head lately, Kaspar. Better keep up. Haha, 
make it sound so easy. I guess that's what it's like to have a cool voice of a hardened merc. Or is it relief when I heard we wouldn't be fighting the kingdom right away? I suppose it makes me selfish, huh? I can't follow orders if it involves taking a lion's lives, but I hate the idea of hurting people from the kingdom. It's not selfish to dislike the idea of fighting your old allies and friends. No one wants to do that, yeah, I suppose. I'm grateful. Thank you for your assistance on the Great Bridge of Mirden. Volunteered to take up the vanguard, yet ended up dis deceived by the enemy actions and was cut off. I do hope that troublesome Count Gloucester remains in quiet retirement in going forward. <sighs> Claude has been causing me no end of trouble. He truly is cunning at Sari. Think of it, that particular quality stretches back to his student days. He appears suddenly with an easy smile that reveals nothing, yet the entire time he is scheming to outwit you. Tell me, what is your impression of the man? Sad, it was positive. Yeah, Seemed know. like a nice, easygoing sort of fellow, especially for a noble. Positive evaluation, indeed. Perhaps not all that surprising. I'm surprised she actually uh, did not dislike that. Hey. I don't know. Well, look who it is. The big, bad sellsword folks just can't stop talking about. Heard the Emperor went and made you a general, yeah? Bet that puts some point in your pocket. Funny thing about money, the more you have, the more you seem to find yourself spending. You sound like me, I love it. Now let's make sure we both get out of this mess in one piece so we can spend that coin in. Ha! <laughs> nice. Hi there. Why aren't we advancing more quickly? When I think about how Leopold and our allies are in danger, ugh, it makes Please. me mad. I'm going to help them no matter what. Yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna break through all the other things that we need to break through as quickly as possible. Monica, as one would expect from the territory of the house that leads the Alliance, Reagan is well prepared for any and all possibilities. They've even shown signs of preparing for an invasion of the Empire. I think Claude is plotting something else, because if so... You're thinking Count Glossenster might be doing some behind-the-scenes scheming again? Mm -hmm. Exactly, Hanuman and all the others at the Great Bridge of Mirrodin, have to stay vigilant. vigilant. Yuritsa! Excellent. Come say Count Burglis. Some say Count Burglis is the strongest man in the Empire. Perhaps he can slay me if we cross blades. Let's see. Well, there's a fight that's pay to see. Can't say who would come out on top though. Might end up a draw. <sighs> Pathetic outcome. I'm simply overjoyed that you have decided to fight on the side of the Empire. Still, your joy. Ferdinand, a defeated man makes no decisions. He simply does as he's told. Even so, you were clever enough to read the winds of war and stop fighting before it was too late. <laughs> to fight in vain is to bring suffering upon one's people. That is a thought neither I nor my father could ever stomach. I love it. No need for false humility. Not many people could make the call you did. Exactly, and now we too will henceforth show the world the true spirit of nobility. Delightful words, I will return the favor of my life by fighting alongside you all. Hold on a moment. You there! You recognize me? Yes, don't tell me you were trying to slip by without giving proper respect. Boggles me to think that a commoner like you would ignore a high-born baron such as myself. Hmm? You wonder how I pinpoint your baseborn nature? Your aura and stench tells me all I need to know. Huh. Uh, th these, these people are gonna, like... Thrown in jail in <laughs> Edelgard's uh, empire, Over eventually. Here. Well, it makes much trouble for us. He oversaw the recapture of the bridge and commanded the siege. Very army as it attacked Leicester. It pains me to do so. I would be a liar if I did anything but acknowledge his well. ability. 
I imagine the man has earned a nickname of his own by this point, perhaps Master Technician. Did you need something? I was dispatched from the capital as a messenger, and honestly, the mood here at the front is much better than I expected it to be. I was pretty worried about the Minister of Military Affairs being in such a trick spot, you know? But now I can return to the capital with my mind at ease. May the times of battle flow in your favor. Listen, truth be told. I've recently received an unusual letter from my father regarding the Minister of Military Affairs. He says this is an opportunity to have the man in my depth and entreats me to do my utmost to rescue him. I find the whole thing quite odd. Dislike each other so much as e as much as they dislike each other as much as ever, yet still maintain a deep concern for one another. ASQ. Let's see. Maybe they patch things up. Or time makes for strange bedfellows and all that. If they could patch things up just like that, why have they been at loggers' heads for more than five years? Well, it's nothing to me. If they wish to play politics, they can have their fun. Yes, mistress. I'm, I'm a perfect. perfect! Honestly, my great concern right now is the situation on the kingdom side of matters. Especially as my reports claim Count Roa give no indication of further betrayal. Also, General Randolph appeared to be doing well. The man has ambitions to spare and is below is beloved by his subordinates. He rather reminds me of yourself. Okay, let's go uh, expand some facilities. Can improve the recreation facility. That's it. I'm a pervert. Time to work you into shape. Train. <laughs> uh, burn that for you. here I still got one do both those together with Caspar Capable of so much more. This will help. Ev Can't wait to get. Training can be the difference between victory and. Having very tired, lazy days. Well, that's fine, right, SQ? You're allowed to have very tired, lazy days. Okay, get this one up to 26, because we're most likely going to use you a lot. Now that Casper is back to being Can't wait brigand. To see how you do. But I think I'm just gonna give Casper instead of magic troops. Brawlers troops. Just need to buy them. Well, well. How are you? Mm. We have some truly can come back soon, all right? Convoy Casper with Brawlers. And then 
this guy with magic orbs. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Especially when you have some challenges with self-love. Yeah, I can understand that. Probably building material. And then veteran training gear most likely, right? Everything has its use. Now it would really suck if the instructor was Training is gonna kick my ass. Okay, defeat. no, we're fine. Upgrade this. So we can go to an advanced class now finally. I only have one, I think, right? Fan Seal, Swordsmaster. In the way of the sword, this warrior strikes with speed and grace. Class obtained. That's a tool in the belt. Okay, that's fixed. Connected for longer than three hours, then I'm starting to feel bad. Hunger is the true enemy. And Dorothea. Stop. Great, it's good enough. How did you know? Oh, yes. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Um. Hubert and. Balthus, sure. Solid. <laughs> Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Okay, let's see. We still miss this one. Ash and Jiritsa, sure. Hey, perfect. Hey. Oh, thanks. Did you know this? I know everything about all of you. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Volunteer. These two. We all must do our fair share. Okay. Arsenal. Thylus, a hero relic linked to the crest of Glow Center, may nullify damage. Oh. Interesting. Should probably give this to Lorenz. Ooh, I actually have a better spear for you as well, Lorenz. Oh shit, I sold that. 
Oh, this one is better. Don't have any new abilities yet. Strategist! Say something motivating. SQ. If you go do something you enjoy right now, you can treat yourself to... You've unlocked a paralogue battle, an incurable shut-in. Unlocked a paralogue battle, a grand day for the Oprah companion. Units in your party may be triggered as the story progresses. Display paralogues, select a camp on the war map. Interesting. Um, I was saying something. Oh yeah, if you go do something right now, do you know what you can do, SQ? You can uh, treat yourself to some chocolate. 27? S rank. Hmm. You know what, I think we can do this. Should be fine. <laughs> oh, I love days like today when there's hardly anyone around. Hello, Bernadetta. Do you have a minute? <laughs> what? I wasn't doing anything, I swear. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Listen, there's a small matter that needs a bit of handling, so I'm gathering up anyone who's available. Which, as of right now, is just the three of us. Okay, well, I'm not much good at dealing with things, and certainly not with, you know, matters. matters. Yeah, we're going after bandits that are holed up in a cave, which means ranged combat will be useless. Bernadetta's just gonna slow us down. Bandits? Hey, and wait! I'm not gonna slow anyone down. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. I can fight when I want to, so maybe I want to today. Just trying to give you an out, but hey, if you want to come bandit caving with us, fine by me. Well, um, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should just sit this one out. Isn't there someone else you can ask? This is my day off. It's Bernie Day. Actually, nearly everyone else is off seeing to one task or another at the moment. Oh, I guess that's why it's so nice and quiet around here today. Enough. If we don't make haste, the enemy will realize we are coming and flee their location. Who are you? That's Duke Garrett, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I assume this is your first time meeting. This may very well be, but I have quite often worked alongside your mother. Really? I guess I should be thanking you for keeping her safe then. Ah, not so. In fact, it is very much I who am indebted to her and her considerable talents. All right, I think that's enough introductions for now. We need to get this show on the road, remember? Quite right. Bernadetta, let me get you up to speed. Two years ago, I was attempting to recover the lost fetters of Dromi. But a suspicious personage, seemingly having learned of my efforts, managed to infiltrate my inner circle. They the were likely hurts. working for Lord Arundel. In a related note, someone attached themselves to my father, Baron Ox, during the time I went missing. My investigation into that person led me to Duke Garrett's inner circle. Point B. These suspicious actors all appear to lead back to a single group. And those are the cave people? Indeed. After many fruitless attempts, we finally managed to track them down. 
He must strike before they have a chance to relocate. And Edelgard and Hubert and the rest of them really aren't around. It's just just me. me. <laughs> Looks like Bernie Day will have to wait. It's bad luck we ended up getting the report today. Sorry, Bernadetta. Well, I'll just have to take it out on the enemy. Let's go. And remember, time is of the essence. We will strike a mighty blow against any who would threaten our empire and her majesty. And as I fear I'm not much of a fighter, I will be depending greatly on you all. Good luck. This doesn't look too bad. I think we should be fine. Uh, I'll just let most of you two just do whatever. Oh, no, I'm just gonna send you all ahead. In the battle. Is this okay. I will gladly handle this. Monica. Order Archers. Bernadetta. Brawlers. Jordi. Rampage. I think that's the idea. Wait, am I on my strongest weapon? Oh yeah, okay. Let me have a look. Uh, whoa! We have a lot of time though, but whoa the amount of kills. I need to step up my game, bro. Doesn't look like I can just rush through this. This uh, move set doesn't look so great with a uh, regular European style swords. I am glad we can now finally start uh, improving classes on everyone again. Good job, Bernie. Not Bernie, stay there and keep doing whatever you're doing. 12 minutes is more than enough. when we negotiated the reformation of the Southern Church. I will gladly handle this.
Um, so SQ, did my motivating motivating speech help? Fit the brigand and their allies. Easy. Doing well, thank you. He's slowly becoming more accustomed to his standing as bear. He's quite never wanting it in the first place. Good job, Bernie. Keep it up. Halfway there. Let's see what this move looks like. Yeah, this is definitely more of a samurai type move. So a lot slower. Much time, five minutes. Enter their base now. Take a breather. Into the caves, everyone. I 
think I'm gonna keep two of you together for the rest of this. We're under attack. How did they find us? Sounds like they're onto us. We had best get ready for a tough fight. Three hundred enemies. Okay, well, you guys go clear this. I'm gonna go clear the other fuckers here. Level up. Wait, that I almost did that for them. These people are just trying to hide away from the world. And here we come back. Need to hurry up a little bit. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. Even more? Jesus. Someone went to level up, and it's Bernie! Time to rush. Cause one half minute left. Eef.
That's not good. Fine, we're fine. Everything is fine. There you go. I don't think we are gonna get an S on this one. We might need to come back to this one once we're a little bit higher level. Mink, schmunk. What's a huge confidence boost when a girl calls you pretty? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Hiko with a smile on his face. So confident in taking selfies in years. Good on you, Hiko. Good on you. Source of superpower for them boys, and at the same time, script tonight. I got someone who is quite fond of my looks and accent. <laughs> No boom, no tree. But no, I will not fall. 
not here. No, he escaped. Well, it's still a partial success, I suppose. He is certainly proving to be a troublesome foe. I will have to inform Her Majesty. Fifteen minutes in the end. Ugh. Way too much time. Thirty-three, nice. Didn't even get an entire level up. Cringe. The Horse Slayer. We should all feel good about getting through that last battle with our heads still on our shoulders. Thanks mostly to the two of you. Yes, you set my mind at ease regarding our future prospects. And I've come out of it with a fine story for Lady Vari. Oh, um, you did? Yes, she's been quite worried about you. But now I can tell her you're getting along wonderfully. Um... Thank you. And with that, I must take my leave. Of all the Imperial nobles I've met, that guy seems like one of the most decent and normal. The kind of man you can trust. Yes. What you see is what you get with the good duke. He's a truly honest soul. He tries to keep himself safe and sound, of course, but that's no different than any other noble. He also seemed pretty worried about Bernadetta. So hey, are these caves great or what? All that these cold bad boys. Just settles right in here. Nah, you guys give me a confidence boost. Every time you guys like my drawings. When I go to the gym and work out nicely, that gives me a confidence boost. Come on, you know, the mountain air, the clean type, it all settles down in the caves. I like that. Hey, whatever you say. Such caves are often layers for monsters as well. Oh, and bandits, obviously. When it comes to curling up, I think this would be more dangerous than cozy. Yeah, that's actually a good point. It might be too dangerous to hang out here all alone. Plus, if heavy rains have been eroding the bedrock, a bad enough storm could collapse the entire system. All that to say, I think you're safer staying in a room with four man-made walls. Fine! I won't hide in caves anymore! Are you happy? Anymore? But you're always just locked up in your room. Do you want me to ask? Ask you, what do you need for a confidence boost? Uh, I guess not. No. You guess? So mean! Sorry, that came out wrong. Apology accepted. But you better watch it. Well, I think we're done here. Let's head back. One day. carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hmm. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Thick.
I love mechanisms, but I hate. Hope to see you again soon. That they keep keep breaking apart. done for the sake can't wait to see how you do gold Which battlefield are you headed to? Hmm. I don't know, Sep. I like having confidence boosts. No, confidence boost is something different than a compliment, Seth. No, that's not. Can you believe this guy? The fight starts now. <clears throat> that is not what I said, Sep. I said you didn't actually give me a confidence boost. You gave me a compliment that should give me a confidence boost. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Here I go. No mistake. All Are you sure? Come on, Bernie. You can do this. <laughs> United, we are unbeatable! This could be a challenge.
But it's fine, Sep. We still love you. That's all that really matters, right? Calvary's within the time limit. I'm playing with your baby. Okay, good. Cause just because it's you doesn't mean you're allowed to play with me! With my feelings and my brain! OSQ, you are. Baby, 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 oh, yeah, baby, 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 no, yeah. Askew says get a milky milk. Askew, didn't you seem to just chomp on a piece of ice cream? First year of the school with straight A's. That would be fucking fire, Hiko. Chats. Huh? What? Oh, 
It's a dream. Why do you always settle for such simple reasoning? You know this is more than a fabrication of your sleep-addled mind. Our first reunion in who knows how long, and you try to write me off as a figment of your imagination? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Though I was definitely asleep last I checked. Anyway, what do you want? To warn you, something is troubling me, eating away at me actually. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I can sense a presence closing in on you. A dangerous one. Well, whoever it is, I'll watch my back. Same as always. I know you're the cautious type, but this threat calls for additional vigilance. It could be that you're going to face the Ashen Demon again soon. Good, because this time I'm gonna win. I have to. Unfortunately, I'm pretty used to these powers of yours by now. Then I'll let myself stay just a tiny bit optimistic. Just don't forget that your opponent has had as much time to grow as you. Your future isn't the Because I can choose, and it's purple, not the blue. The demon could also put an end to Edelgard's vision with as little as one swing of a sword. Whatever happens, we can't let all our hard work be undone. I won't let anything happen. Not to Edelgard, or to the others. That's the spirit. I know you can do this. After all, you're my... Yeah, yeah. I'm your partner in destiny. I finally got you to say it. Ah, how wonderful. Anal guards. Wow. Rude. How dare you say that about my wife to be. Ooh, got your training gear. Maybe she liked it. Okay, I don't know in what world you live, sir, but uh <laughs> time to work you into shape. This one is good. This one is good. I still need to actually get a few recruit training gear. Petra. Put Hubert and Lindhart in here together. Can't wait to get this will help everyone out. Wait, that's a wife? I thought it. You guys suck. <laughs> Ow, fuck my back. Training can be the difference between with proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Still telling Aqua. Aqua already knows. Can't 
win. Hey, coming to a draw with the almighty king of grapplings, not a bad result. After all, you've got a disadvantage. But with our size difference and all. Okay, but don't you have the disadvantage of our age difference? Hey, I'm not that old. And I'm not that short. And I'm not that short. Yes, you are. I've grown a lot in these last two years. Give me a little time and I'll be towering over you. Not sure you've got a growth spurt left in you at your age. And I'm a pretty big guy. What did you say? Oh, you want another piece? Let's go! Let's go! go. <laughs> Didn't win. Again! <laughs> another draw! You don't know when to quit! We're not getting anywhere fighting with our fists. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty much at my limit. So, what's next? Better make it something where we can compete on equal footing. Naturally. Well, beyond fists, there's money, there's ladies. How are you going to compete with money? All you do is complain about not having any. And ladies? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, unless you want us to dress up in ladies' clothes and compete to see who looks better. You're really not understanding this, are you? Stop, you're annoying. Also, this break gave me time to get my energy back. So put him up, it's back to fists. Better hope your body can pay the bill your mouth keeps running up. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Figured those two would be a great duo. So, this is Edelgard. <sighs> See? Which battlefield are you headed to? Another advanced seal breach Gloucester's territory. Okay, SQ from those three, who is number one? Kind of surprised. Okay, uh, we're swapping you out for Hubert. Wait, no, not you, Burns. Who's strong against fists again? Oh, really? Hubert actually loses his strength towards. Okay, good to know. Towards fists. Ignard is good against fists. Is that the bow? No, not fists. Spell, uh, bows, archers, whatever. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's earn our I see. Victory. Okay. Not a problem. Um. I've got this. There. Here I go. No mistakes. 
There. Is that the one and only? Sepalepa-ding-dong? Dong. Let us go to work. <laughs> now show me your courage. I will ensure that what needs to be done is done. I know. That's the first thing you told me after I uh, made the sound command. That was gonna be your sound alert for your phone, your ringtone. Jump your words. Right then, let us. I will see my duty done. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Orders have been carried out. What comes next? We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. <clears throat> you mean me? No, I don't have any offers yet. I will try to make it work here first. I have too many stuff here, like my coach and stuff. Also, and uh, also, I like my city a lot. Even it's kind of garbage. It comes to traffic. The stronghold's ours. I mean, that kind of stuff you'll never be able to evade, anyways. We'll get it done, no matter what. Where's this messenger? Saw nothing. We'll be in a good position if we can capture this stronghold. 
Wait, island, island what? Central Hill. Boundless Fields. Island Battlefield. Okay, found them. Can't have Edelhard kill capture that base yet. Okay, messenger defeated. I'm sorry. On to the next one. Okay, now she can. Here I go. No mistake. Indeed, a power that will with my chance, I get a job at the capital that will pay a lot, I will jump on it, keep on my your fingers crossed that tomorrow I get a phone call from the other company. <coughs> company that uh, they make reasonable offer. Let's uh, pray on that, uh, Sep. I have full trust. Did you? Still here. Sep, I bet there is a whim there's a woman out there as well. This victory is in the name that will love you. One day you will suddenly find her. I won't let thirty four. Yeah. Nice. Hey, new power. Not that there's any point in me. Hammer. Oh, this one looks nice. No! Never! So. Advanced seals. Don't mind if I do. Okay. 
Damn, time is going fast today. I started around 5 fucking p.m. It's already 8 p.m. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Fuck. My back. Secret transport forces. That's a nice uh, level any uh, Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Tactics, Academy... Smack that! All on the floor! Smack that! Give me some more! Smack that! Till you get sore! Smack that! Oh! oh. Let me know if I may be of further service. Now, where is Lindhart? Truth be told. Yeah, we all know why that is. Actually, I'd prefer a nap. Do you mind if I curl up somewhere when we arrive at our destination? Can't we just have Actually, a yes, Blind Hearts, I do. No? This is certainly a peaceful place, and there is plenty of fluffy grass for me to flop onto. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about you so intently that I lost track of the conversation. What were you saying? Makes sense. Game. I thought for certain you would have a crest, but no. I still find that so strange. Thanks in advance. I'd only get to see her maybe once or twice a year. Well, it's not anything proper, but still talking and being open to one another is quite nice. Let's rest here a bit longer. Thanks. That was more excitement than I'm used to. As long as you're having a good time, Hiko. Which battlefield are That's you all that matters in the end. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Jordi is particularly useless here. 
So is Hubert, so is Edelgard. The only one that's useful here is... Petra is useful. And most likely, where is he? Balthus is useful. And Yordi we're keeping in because I'm fucking badass like that. Let's earn our keep. Okay. Anyone tries to uh, Baltus, no you go attack this stinky. Petra Chan, you attack this stinky. Burn you attack this stinky. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. A summoner appeared. Thief and other enemies. Defeat the summoner within the time limit to stop the summoning. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Um, I think I'm swapping to Baltus and charge all the way up north. Jobberna debt. It's burning time to shop. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Tell me somebody saw that. Side mission complete. Okay, sent these this bad boy over here. We're gonna clean up this. Let's see, 172, disappointing. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm... You're the last big unit, I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna ruin my entire run. Defeat the brawler and the priest. These guys. Some this guy. I'm on it. No charge. Wherever the fuck. This 
Defense's defeat. I'm sorry. Tell me somebody saw that. Many. This is defeat. Ninety. I'm sorry. Let's keep keep it going. Direct stuff. Main mission successful. Oh, there's the leader. Hmm. Okay, I could have just killed that, I guess. I've got it. Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. Time. We're running out of time here. Send both is that way. Just leave it to me. It's burning time to Bernie to do whatever. You know what? We'll go and straight attack as Bernie. No. Or not. Petra is in trouble. <sighs> Let's see. Level 29. Should be fine. We'll see. Yeah. And within the time limit, boy! At least I hope. Okay, yeah, time limit, inverted tone. Petra went to level up. We're in a dead eye as the MVP. Bolt is almost ready for his next. Bolt. New support talks. Yuri, Yuri, Dizzy. One boy. Check if I have any new abilities. Yeah, we got mortal strong. <laughs> Reduce the user's defense to make the stun gauge display with all attacks. Oh, that's kind of sick. Burned dead and Petra. Let's first do this extra quest. I think we need a horse. Oh, we don't need a horse. We got Bernie. Puesto! Let's 
turn our key. Turn. Okay. Um. It's burning time to shine. Bernie, this Girl, way. This okay. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Begin. The skies for the pain parade. Do you want pain parade? Because pain train is not yet a thing that exists. <laughs> Speed demon. Begin. I am advancing. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. It's perfect. Watching you fight is like poetry in motion. I'm on it, no charge. Just leave it to me. Next person worry whole thing is uh Petra. I want to see what hard combat style is like in the next stage. Begin. The skies. All would be lost if I were to die here. All done. What is the next order? Eco overthink stuff as much as you want, as long as it doesn't hinder you.
Because if you start being bothered by it, that's when you should stop. Thank you for your protection, Flame Spirit. Baltos maxed out hey, new power. All right. Apex Swords. Killer Lens. Money, 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 money. Imperial Holy Blessing. Let's take the speed carrot. Hands back to camp it is. Um... <laughs> okay, Zillar. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. I carry a little of everything here. Oh my God, I did call SQ Zillar unbelievable. Good on you, Hiko. Don't worry about it. Just Looking fly with it. For you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Come back soon. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Oh. See you around. Then we're ditching it. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Ow! My back! Ugh, I'm an old man! Hmm. 
everything has its use. Relationship advice from SQ. Time to work you into shape. Yeah, whatever it is that Sep says. Okay, uh, Petra. You're going to be an assassin. Assassin. This is a way to get Balthus. You can be a grappler. Casper or something. Become a warrior. Can't wait to the rest uh, will have to wait. The training. Couldn't have done that on my own. You should do that though, bro. My psychologist was like the four bet list three things about crap. The day that were good, and I was like, what the fuck is this shady motivational Instagram garbage? But it fucking works. Bruh, I've been doing that since I was fucking 11 years old. This power within. Okay, not that long. Training but it's been a while since I've been doing that. Be Support conversations. So my hair, my jokes, and my accent. <laughs> Shouldn't talk about. Adapt, Your dick size? What? I mean, what? <laughs> Maybe if I work on my bow skills, I can get good enough to fight from a safe distance. I wonder if Petra would teach me. I mean, she doesn't hate me, so that must mean we sort of get along. You are needing my help, Bernadetta? <laughs> Petra! Were you there this whole time? <laughs> For enough time. I am also thinking we are getting along. You do? Oh, Petra! Um, but I mean, I actually could use your help. I want to get better with the bows, so I was thinking maybe you could give me some intensive training? But I mean, you really don't have to. It's fine. Well, the size doesn't of matter. Course. I got the conf It would give me delight. Mm. Uh, there is one where is this going, guys? Oh, it's too early in the week for this shit. Talented, isn't it? No, you are not without talent. I have seen you being very light upon your feet. But it is only when you are feeling threatened. So, for you to have the greatest improvement, I must be giving you fear when I am training you. Um... Okay, but maybe you could be threatening in a non-threatening way? But I next time. <laughs> but then you would not be having improvement. Terror is what you are needing for this. I don't think I like the sound of that. Then we must be forgetting this idea. I do not want your heart to be giving out. Hey, come on! 
fun. I'm not completely afraid of applying myself, you know? If we are doing this intensive training, you will have to be facing the trial of wind. I am thinking you lack the readiness you need. The trial of wind? You know what? Do your worst. My heart can take whatever you dish out and... and... Uh, chew it into little tiny pieces! Hmm. Very well. Bernie. Once we have our beginning, I will not relent. I hope you have offered your prayers today. <laughs> On second thought, Bernie. maybe we should discuss this just a little more before we... Yeah. Enough! Cease! Your arrows are just one big blur! Now it is time for seriousness. 100 arrows from behind. I thought we were already serious! <laughs> is this the afterlife? Am I, Am I dead? You have done it, Bernadetta. You are the survivor of Bridget's fearsome trial by wind. What does that even mean? This training is meant to be testing our resolve, just as the spirits do. Warriors of Bridget who are surviving the trial receive the blessings of the wind spirits. You have passed. Now the spirits will be with you always, and guiding your arrows. I passed? Yes! You go, Bernie! But actually, I'm just happy to get your approval here. It feels... nice. It is the approval of the wind spirits, not mine. But I am sharing in your happiness all the same. Better is great. Battlefield are you headed to? Which battlefield are you heading to? You cannot use combat arts, magic, or vulneries to heal during this battle. Huh. Okay. Sounds like a fun time. Seems I didn't change Petra's class yet. Now it's changed. Uh, we do need to swap her out. She's not very useful in this situation. Hubert might do a better job here. Her Majesty. Begins battle. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure, hope this goes all right then. Let us go to it. <laughs> I'm on it. No charge. Just leap. Don't want to get left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. Yeah, we can win this. <laughs>
How's everyone doing? So this is defeat. I'm sorry. What can I say? I'm that good. What can I say? Look as you, you're doing great in game. I like the words in game. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Perhaps this will shift this. Right then. Let us go to work. Situation in our favor. Thank you. I'll repay you somehow. Ooh, someone went to level up again. Ooh, I went to level up again. Good. I won't ever forget your kindness. Yeah, you can say that again. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Life would be boring if everyone was the same. Orders have been 
Did I make it in time? Yeah. If that was the entire quest. Crap. Seize the strongholds. Laysters Alliance. This battle will make a fine stage for my debut. Let me see, what is it weak against? Nobody. Stand back. You shall pay for this, you hear? Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. Question, was I allowed to use... Battle details? Throw Marines. Okay, so I can use my. Shall we begin our attack? Awakening. That might be good enough to win, right? Or not. I barely make it. Barely make it. <laughs> Fallen one though in the depths of hell, first for eternity. Are many things, but there is someone who will appreciate them all. Look at Hiko saying nice things. Seems like Make the most of this. Ooh, ah, it's not better than what I have. Sad. Money bags. Money, money, money. Insignia. Well. Killing Edge. Mm -hmm. Dang, it's slightly less good. Feels sad. Well. Then a good weapon for Petra. Hmm. 
to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Q-Birds, where the fuck are you? What? As a matter of fact? Excursion. Very well. The shorter a leash, the... Dare I say, our time together is actually tolerable? Fuck you, Hubert. Except I thought you already did dance, uh, class. There is no... You always seem to be enjoying your... Hubert is such such a hard read. Strategy on expeditions such as this. Right. That was a. Well. We truly have some truly capable people here. <laughs> um, I'll take this one. Edel guards will take this one. That's it. I don't fucking care anymore. I got the gist. I'm, I'm gonna be in trouble. Let's earn our keep. You must really be I mean trouble in a good Bruce, kind of I way. Sure hope this goes okay. Right then. Let us go to work. 
I will see my Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Be down, huh? Well, I promise to save you. Though the wind blows ill, victory is never beyond promise. I don't know how long I can hold out. Help me, please. Not a problem. I've got... Severe. I have to fall back. Oh, wrong way. How does that please you? is a vital strategy. We did it! Two hundred orders have been carried out. What comes next? You worth kick this guy's ass, please. What the hell are you guys on about? Guards level twenty nine. Not a problem. I've got we did it. By the name of House Daphne. Hey, Judith. Enjoyment of this is quickly wearing thin. Sick. 
Okay, we're already through. Good to know. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No, but they must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Right then. Let us me. You going to set planning to kidnap you. They are welcome to try. But they must be prepared to be killed while doing so. Listen, this is not uh, San Andreas, okay? Where there are strip clubs on every corner of the street. Well, at least not if you're planning on actually kidnapping me, Seth. not SQ is overprotective, you mean SQ is over-exaggerating, just like Bernie in this game. Right, Sep? She's just like Bernie. in the future, I'm not even real. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. I carry a little of everything here. See you again soon. I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Boom, boom, boom. To catch them is my real test. The train to miss my car. Whoa. Travel across the lands, searching far and wide. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Uh.
Care to make yourself useful? Ferdinand and Lorenz. Do our fair share. Cream soda, Doctor Pepper. Ugh. Training can be the difference between. Uh, cola is such a disgusting ass drink. Dr. Pepper is the worst kind of cola. Uh, I don't think I have enough money to get everyone up high enough. I must out. Hubert's level thirty. Bernie's already level thirty, which is good. Petra level thirty. Level thirty hero one. Balthus level thirty. The rest doesn't really matter, we'll level that up as we go. Oh wait, Hubert to level 30. In case we need a horse riding paladin thingy. Great things Okay. Can't wait to see how you do. Save just in case. That we do get completely uh, ass blasted are you headed to? into the next uh, world. Doritos Pepsi. I got Doritos this weekend. Tasted good. I knew Count Burgley's was formidable, but I clearly did not give the man enough credit. I thought for certain he would have fallen by now, and yet here we are. If we're handing out credit, Claude deserves some as well. Maintaining a siege for this long takes its own toll on morale. Yet his troops remain disciplined, well positioned, and ready to engage us. One advantage to a siege is mobility. They can deploy soldiers up and down the line as needed to keep the upper hand. In other words, they are outfitted with many highly mobile units, which means they can respond quickly to enemy reinforcements as well. If we run emotional back, damage, we break our ally spirits for good. Not even Count Burglies would be able to rally them again. Surrender would be the only option. <sighs> Why are they wavering now when we're so close? We're not looking to win the war today. We just have to break the siege. We should attack their lines at multiple positions. We don't need to win the battle. We just need them to break formation long enough for the Count and his troops to get out of there. Well, this is new. 
You are not often one to give voice to your opinions on tactics. Still, you have struck the proverbial nail on the head. It is exactly how we must proceed. Back. Oh, why is my back so bitchy today? I look to your exploits on the battlefield. Today, we free our Imperial allies and reward their continued valor in the face of impossible odds. Burglies! <sighs> Army retreats. Burglies generals are routed. You want to persuade Rafael Listea Marina? I think this one will be a good one. And this one. Okay, let's see. We need... Holy heck. Edelgard is completely useless in this situation. Gaspar, on the other hand, is good. Um... Swap Hubert for uh, Altus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Kneel before Her Majesty. Who's not deployed? Shit. Um. Strategies. Oh, I need Ignaz. Okay. Um, battle map. I didn't actually level up Ignaz, which is oh, super yeah. annoying. Petra for Ignaz. I'm ready anytime. Okay. Controls the stronghold in the center of the plane. I'll protect the Edel guards. Our goal is to break the siege so he and his No Baltus. Baltus is playable. Oh, fucking hell, where is everyone? I think this will go well. I'll provide backup. So much for securing Anka. surrender before reinforcements arrive. Well, you all know what to do. Engage the enemy. Okay, Baltus, Matt, where is... Okay. Mariana Vom blah blah blue blue. Our negotiations with Margrave Edmund still ongoing. Perhaps we can win Marianne over to our side. I know you hate the 
this kind of thing, Marianne. So please, put down your weapon. No, I can't abandon my friends when they all fight for their lives. Not a problem. I've got this. It's Bernie's time to shine. Are you about time? Raphael. I'm itching to show what my muscles can do. Now, who wants to be first? Trying not to live on sugar and feel like shit. Wait, that's Raphael. Don't kill him, please. Let me talk to him first. Please let us take this place down. Eighteen hundred kills needed. Seventeen minutes time. Margrave Edmund will go much better. I'm on it. Look, just leave it to me. So, sure. If you surrender, you will not consent. You're right. My adopted father would walk me to lay down my arms, not my life. To rescue us. I know your spirits are weary, but we kindle them now with whatever spark of hope remains in your soul. Not a problem. This stronghold will fall. This is rough. My body is crying out for a break. My turn. You don't have to do this, Raphael. Think about my. It's Bernie's time to shine. Yeah. She needs you, remember? Hey, no fair. But. Uh, all right, you nuts. I'm in. But only because it's you. Continue pushing! We must secure an exit for our allies. Taking down those strongholds will drive a wedge into their siege. There are two strongholds. We must deploy our forces with cleverness to be taking both. Hilda Valentine. Hold this line. So why don't you just leave and we'll call it a day? Are you sure? Is they, um... Here they come. But I came here to fight, and I won't back down. Ah! Also, Delia has already offered us their allegiance. Hold on. I can't fight you. You're from House Ordelia. Well, 
Don't expect me to hold back just because you do. Our allies are nearly within reach. Clear out the enemy soldiers in those strongholds. I heard about what was done to you, Lysithia. And as one who understands that intimate, I ask you to join my cause. You too? Yes, all right. I'll hear you out. No charge. Just me. A detachment of white mages stands ready to mend our wounded comrades. Now, if they'll just be kind enough to let us escape this way. The siege is coming apart at the seams. Deploy the reinforcements. Fill those gaps. Side mission, seize strongholds and prevent the enemy reinforcements from appearing. Okay, orders. Not a problem. I've got this. It's burning time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. They're trying to shore up areas where we've been their race. Don't let that happen. Now, here comes Berkeley's forces. Pay attention now. Oh, thank you. All right, you asked for it. Target their strongholds and crush their reinforcements. Let's finish this. Shiny. What do you think of this? Okay, um... have been rewarded the way is open move as one and defend the count and his soldiers as we go you think I'm gonna let you slink out of here let us do it you already had not bully people right yes you do that's why we fight back all the time the uh, skew Jesus Christ Yep, they're Gerald's bitches. Oh no. Look who's with us. We won't put a dent in Gerald's company with the numbers he has. I vote we rush for I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Odd's main position is dead. It would indeed catch him by surprise. But do we flank from the left or right? Either way, let's choose a path and clear out anyone foolish enough to stand before us. Why? Sorry to cut your... Let's see. No big enemies. Gerald is there. Sure hope this I think I'm heading okay. this way. So, what should I be doing again? 
Sure. Let's escape short, friends. About time. I'm on fire. My... Was a delight. Maybe we can stop and rest for a few here. I'm what you came for me personally, Your Majesty. You can thank me once we're clear of this place. Now ready your troops. It's for retreat. Does the center still hold? Still need to. Get about double the kills. Jesus. I'm on it. Job, Casper. How much time? Seven minutes, ten minutes left. Slides. Good. You're wide open. Push through. You must reach the Berkeley's. Did they kill it yet? Jesus, this archer is durable. Good job, Bernie. So, what? Sure, let's try it. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. No, not yet. Very well. We attack from that direction. Her Majesty blazes the trail. Charge! This retreat is looking more and more like a full-on assault. Stay with him, everyone. So, what should I be doing again? Hold on. Hold on. Are they coming for us? You attack this one, Bernie, you go this way, around...
defeated Alarines. Is that uh, capture? Oh, I can already enter from the front. Never mind. They can, yes, and then I will never be able to use them uh, in this playthrough again. Why do you ask, Sep? That sounds a bit harsh. It's not like that's automatically on though. You can turn it on at start of the playthrough. So, and uh, with that being said, I did turn it on. Exercise, you diet. Kill this. So I'll Won't do to have you slip our grasp now. Byleth appeared. Ashen demon, clever of Claude to keep this little surprise for the moment it would matter most. I'll handle the mercenaries. The rest of you press on. Don't stop, no matter what. Get a better crack at the old Alliance's leadership, Your Majesty. Hit them with all you have. Leave nothing on the battlefield. Comfort. It's burning time to shine. All right. It's burning time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. So, sure, let's try it. I'm on it. No Please is keeping the Ash of Demon busy. Which means now is our chance to strike at Claude. Yeah. 
Witness my true power! So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna go and attempt to kill the big boy. Ah, suck it by Lith. My work here is unfinished. Wait, Relit? Wait, Relit? Wait, Relit? lost if they've made it this far. But maybe I can still take out an officer or two. I can't hold this monster back forever. Forget the demon and take out the commander. Messing up all of my clever plans. Hey, I just work here. But you're gonna make a nice trophy for the Emperor. You've got me cornered. Better think fast. Jesus Christ, we're still not done? That's all I can take. Let's see if our new mercenary friend is worth all that gold. Do we win? Which just leaves the Ashen Demon. We're close to the finish now. So let's take whatever time we need and do this right. <sighs> that clash with Count Burgley's has left the demon weary. It's the best chance to crush that clash for good. That was such a waste. I didn't make it in time, that's so F. We'll just have to come back to this mission later. Such vexing arrogance for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. 
in any event. You labored to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life. <laughs> You cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! You can run all you like. Why do you... fight me? Why so this? I'm sorry, Claude. They were too much for us. It's all right, Hilda. Well, it's not, but I knew this was a possible outcome. I was hoping the terrain might let us hold, but against that many soldiers deployed that skillfully, it just wasn't enough. You sound sad. It's a little weird. Can you blame me? Look at how many people have died because I decided to fight this war. <sighs> Maybe I should have just let the Empire have their way. My father and the others never would have accepted that. You had to throw everything you had at the enemy at least once, or they think you were a coward forever. Wow, Hilda. I didn't think you'd picked up on all of that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Too bad everything I had still wasn't enough. Well, the next step is to put our heads together and figure out what to do next. I hope you don't mind if I lean on you and that brother of yours for support. Lester's round table is overdue for some big changes. Again, your majesty. You've got my deepest thanks for rescuing us. And since my lack of foresight's to blame, let me apologize again for what happened. I will not hear of it, Count Bergles. Had any but you been in command, I would be collecting corpses right now instead of thanks. I failed to see what Duke Regan and Count Gloucester were plotting. The blame is mine alone. So I will hear no more self-reproach from you. Go now and rest those weary bones. I'm grateful for the kindness, Your Majesty. Honestly, this experience shook me more than you might realize. I never would have made it through without the brave men and women who served me. They're the ones who deserve your praise. Understood. I will see they are duly rewarded. Hubert, summon Monica and have that put in writing as an official decree. And now, I want to know how we are faring with our efforts in the kingdom. Thirty five seconds. Seems like what a bummer. I found strength. I won't let. Steel shields. Nice. Armor Slayer sword. Raphael's no playable. Listea, Mariana, screen. Here, I thought we won. You already just ditched on us and our lovely conversation. I'm done. I'm gonna play my game. I don't know. I'm not. I haven't been able to pay attention. Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. 
Of course it is. It's just too much going on. I can't I even pay enough attention to the chats. I'm sorry. It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm. That would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this. Also, fight. if I would I be watching hentai, you guys would be hearing that in the stream. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. Um, you know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years. Just have muted, dog. But there is no fun in the hentai if it's muted, Nico. And hey, the Ashen Demon's a mercenary, right? Might be best for the Empire to toss some coin their way and put the rivalry behind us. You want to hire that thing? Seriously? Fighting them side by side with the Ashen Demon? Are you mad? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better Listen, off Listen, SQ, if I fall down? Them. If that's really Fault. how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. <sighs> so maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just My yet. My back is annoying me like living hell. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. A glove does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fotlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke. Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle. So probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around. 
Get my head on straight. Don't worry. I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. Hubert, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Let me apprise you all as to what is going on. As you know, our Talons have been sunk in our little alliance problem for some time now. But now we must deal with the Kingdom, which has sent an army to claim the heads of Count Roe and any others who came over to our side. However, Roe is seated at Aryan Road, the fortress city, a citadel as hard to crack as Fort Mercius. <laughs> ah, Aryan Road, the Silver Maiden. Oh. It's sort of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. Yeah, I still don't get it. Our reports indicate that despite the strength of the kingdom's army, they are still struggling to take the fortress city. But given enough time, they will. Unless we send reinforcements. Therefore, we must direct our attention to the kingdom once more. Will this constant bouncing between the kingdom and alliance not take its toll on our soldiers? Who said we were taking our entire force? We will depart for Garigmok with elite troops, then collect fresh units before proceeding west. Simultaneously, I plan to have Duke Garrick summon the Western Lord soldiers and march toward the fortress city. We will join up at that point and strike at the kingdom's main force together. What say you to that? Sleepy boy, Yodi is getting say sleepy. It's the ideal strategy, at least on paper. Okay, let's keep our optimism in check here. I mean, speaking from personal experience, nothing ever turns out the way you want it to. Should we be having concern? If the plan is good, we will find success. And the alliance it starts more than sixty-nine times with my points. They will not. Her Majesty is I'm just gonna deny them if you do that. With Count Burgley's is worn as thin as they are. We will have him <laughs> camp at the Great Bridge and continue negotiations from there. Oh man, you're so sleepy. Gloucester's new Count Lawrence has decided to join the Empire. Additionally, the daughters of Houses Ordelia and Edmund have been given leave to fight by our side. Besides, from what I hear, the Round Table is too busy chewing itself apart to start any more trouble. That leaves only the Knights of Saros to contend with. The Minister of Religious Affairs will handle them. My father? But he's not capable of facing the knights! I let the Ashen Demon outmaneuver me in the last battle. But that won't happen again. But that won't happen again. Scarlet Blaze, the Maiden's Peril. The Maiden's Peril. When he learns of the Empire's struggle, Dimitri decides the time is right to strike. He moves swiftly to drive the Empire out, toppling one unfaithful Western <sighs> Lord after another. Finally, he descends on Aryan Road, seat of Count Roe, the first Lord to betray him. Thus does Edelgard's army begin another grueling march to rescue a different Count. Yeah, same. We've been here before. But we were in such a rush to rescue Lenato that we never got more than a glimpse of Aryan Road. Can't really appreciate the scale that quick. And now we're back to bail it out. If only Claude hadn't hatched his feudal scheme. We could have avoided all these needless battles and saved countless lives. Yet, in a more positive light, 
He handed us the perfect opportunity to show that not even the Alliance and Kingdom together can match the Empire's strength. Once we crush the army of Fargus, our superiority will be clear for all to see. And will that actually result in fewer casualties going forward? Because that is what would put Her Majesty's heart at ease. I will make no guarantees for matters beyond our control. So long as fanatics are willing to die for the Central Church, casualties are inevitable. Ah. Uh. We broke the Alliance's siege, and we can break the Kingdom's too! We're lucky it's a stronghold like Aryan Road that's under siege. It shouldn't be half the nail-biter we had to deal with last time. Yes, but last time Count Burglies was in command. For all we know, Count Roe will break like a twig and surrender the moment he hears the first soldier crest the hill. As I see it, we have two options. We can take a direct path for Aryan Road, or... And wait until we scatter the kingdom troops that are fanned out in the north. It is a most vexing decision. As a professional at staying holed up, I think we should secure the perimeter first and get rid of as much danger as we possibly can. Time is important. We should be striking fast and hard. We're gonna have to deal with the North after we free Aryan Road anyway, so it makes sense to clear them out now and get it over with. Let's keep both options open and see how the situation unfolds. General Randolph. Yes, Your Majesty. I commend you for holding Aryan Road with what few soldiers you had. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am unworthy of such praise when I failed to prevent the siege. Coordination with Count Roe proved difficult. It was all I could do merely to keep the enemy in check. That alone is commendable. A more foolish man would have rushed to glory and gotten himself and his underlings killed in the process. I have a key role for you in the coming rescue, General. I know you were up to the task. Of course, Your Majesty. My brother and I will give our all. Very good. But do not let your eagerness for victory come at the cost of lives. We have many more battles ahead. And lives. Must conduct ourselves accordingly. Lives. Uh, hey there, Edelgard. Leafing through documents, are we? This is new. Yeah, completely out of character, I know. But one of these reports has been stuck in my mind. Back when Count Roe declared fealty to the Empire, other lords committed to doing the same, right? But the moment we left and the Kingdom Army marched south, they fell right back in line. It's like they never betrayed Fargus in the first place. Good memory. That's exactly what happened. Houses Elidor and Duval both made overtures to join the Empire. So why is the Kingdom welcoming them back without so much as a wrist slap? Is this another House Gloucester thing where the politics demand it? Seems like their importance as noble families outstrips the fact that they're all two-faced liars. Politics are doubtless involved, but the heads of houses can change, as they did with Gloucester. We're not bound to place importance on any one individual, only the bloodline. So the kingdom's aristocracy gets the same free pass as the alliances? Yes. And the Is that as well. the one and only? Seth, like all my dudes, talk to you later. I cannot afford to slight a minister's house, for example. They broke fealty to the former prime minister when they swore it to me. Would you call that treachery? What makes it different from the actions of Count Gloucester? You can't blame someone for switching sides when they're outnumbered. 
You think they're just gonna lay down and die? That's part of it. I think what matters is why they had the change of heart. Was it for land? For status? To exact revenge or seize glory? Because I view a betrayal for any of those reasons to be utterly worthless. Yeah, money and vengeance are pretty shallow motives. Though, that's why I'm here. I'm not talking about mercenaries. I'm talking about lords. Each of their decisions has the ability to upend the lives of thousands, if not more. Only a person with the character to realize that is truly fit to lead. I've worked for plenty of nobles in my time. Until now, I couldn't have cared less what it means to actually be one. But then you gave me responsibility over all these soldiers, and it... Well, I guess I'm starting to see the world in a different way. And the people who live in it, too. I see. I admit your grand designs sail clear over my head sometimes. Most of the time, actually. But that's why I stand by you. I feel like one of these days, something important's gonna rub off on me. And I feel the same. You've opened my eyes to all manner of things I might never have seen otherwise. You are a commoner without the fetters of a family name, wielding your sword directly for me. That's more valuable than you may realize. Waifu alert! Waifu alert! Waifu alert! In sport conversation locked. Lindhart and Bernadetta. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, this is so exhausting. I I'll be honest, I'm a little bit too tired. It's the dream machine, the dream boat himself, Jordy Streaming. Hey Dave. How you doing, my dudes? Hope to see you again soon. Hi. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Listen, SQ, just because you hope that she will kick my butt doesn't mean she's actually going to kick my butt. Cash do I have? 19k. What level is my uh, main doomed? 36. Well, I think I fucked up. I don't know what I done, but I'm pretty sure I fucked up. <laughs> what do you mean? Fuck you on about, bro. Time to work Women. You into shape. Yeah, never mess with women, bro. Never mess with them. They will end your sorry excuse of a life before you can say, "Please forgive me." Something like that, at least.
Petra already went to the next stage. I don't have any more, do I? Stinky Winky. Like new chaos telling waifus their partner be cheating so I can see kicking butts and blood. Can't let them I, I have I don't know what you are all my back. I don't know what you're on about here, SQ. Aqua already knows that I have waifus in multiple games, and she's completely fine with it. Hunger is the true enemy. SQ thinking she can use chaos to her advantage. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger or how wrong she enemy. is. Kale does not yield to one as weak as you. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Birds and Care to make yourself useful? Wow. Yes, we all must do our fair care to make yourself useful. A girl you Saturday we went karaoke. Oh well, yeah, she's been off with me and completely counting on blank me today, so no idea what I've done, yeah, but hey about with me on I'm good job. at upsetting people when I'm joking around. I sure hope so it's that right to excuse do. you. Calling me weak, I'm sad again. See that's what I mean we with weak. Must do our fair share. <laughs> I'm so mean. Um, uh, what was I gonna say to Dave again? Hmm. Dave, maybe she's just in a bad, having a bad mood today. Or maybe she just got on her periods. There could be plenty of reasons to why she doesn't feel like talking right now, even if it does not 
have anything to do with you. Oh, fuck my life, my back. Well, my body is done. My body is dead today. Chaos was invented for me. No, SQ. Chaos was invented to harm you. Not invented for you. Like, with any people, you never know uh, what the reasons are someone acts the way they do until they tell you exactly why. <gasps> but uh, yeah, I shouldn't have exited the game yet, now there is no background music. Uh, wow, I'm actually exhausted. It's really time for me to go. Dave, I'm sorry that you just popped in and I'm about to end. Uh, feel free to DM me in Discord if you want to talk. Uh, guys, guys, ladies and gents, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. The game is fun. I'm still liking it. There's a little bit too much talking. I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit sad that, uh, about what, again? Brain is not cooperating, that's fine. Uh, I'm a little bit sad that I couldn't get that S rank on the last main mission that we did. Uh, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, uh, no, I won't be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I will be at my parents'. And we'll be back on Wednesday. I will most likely be have done some grinding on the game with multiple characters, level up the characters a little bit. Uh, unlock more of the camp, because we got a lot to unlock, and every single battle that I do, I will get more resources. I also get more stones to turn into resources, and... Shit like that. So um, by Wednesday, I'll be back on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and like, comment, and subscribe if you will. Till the very next time, good night, adios, and sleep well.